Hello everyone, it's Apollo here with a 1v1 and we're playing a subscriber battle here. One of my subscribers wanted to play against me and we've got the same Russian setup I have in the last video. I've got uh, five units of dismounted Devor, four units of dismounted Boyer Sons, four units of Bert Bertic Axemen, and then I've got four units of Sar Guard and a General's Bodyguard. <coughs> so my... Uh, Opponent here today is Josh Watt. Uh, he he's bringing a rush army. He's playing as Denmark. He's got one, two, three, four units of dismounted feudal knights, four units of dismounted shivrick knights, two units of Norse axemen. These guys are so cool. And then he's got a unit of shivrick knights, mounted shivrick knights. Then he's got one, two, th three units of Norse war clerics and generous bodyguard. And then he also has three units of Viking Raiders. I think this is his flanking force here. But let's go ahead and play this. This is a really quick battle. But look at this rush. This is intense. So I have my Cav all the way over on this side. And clearly I see that he's going to be on the aggressive. So i got to send my Cav over to defend against his. Then I'm moving up my infantry. My archers are getting a couple volleys off. They get a couple good hits there. So I move up my infantry. And the cab fight is about to begin. So that was pretty fun to watch. How the cab all maneuvered and whatnot. So this is gonna be pretty close here. And then I see him sending in some Norse axemen here. He's trying to flank over. But my archers are pretty good at hand to hand. And here's the combat here. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest here, my infantry is no match <coughs> to this infantry horde over here. <coughs> so I'm gonna have to use my archers here as melee units because they are no use on their bows at this point so now they're going hand to hand one mistake I made I, is I should have sent in these units here to fight hand to hand instead of just sitting here firing because I probably killed my own guys and I just think they would they would give support to my infantry line here if they fought hand to hand but look at this I have lost this cav battle I have no idea how I, I pretty I was so confident that my cav was uh, Lord be merciful. We have lost way more superior men. to his, but obviously not. And look at this. My lines are super thin at this point. It's not looking good for Team Apollo. And we already have a ton of routing. And we're about to see the carnage that these calves are going to bring to my army because they are free to fight whatever they want here comes uh, some Norse axemen coming to clean up my archers so so that's that's sad Sad they captured my general. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, that's GG, guys. Um, I kind of brought just. I, there's nothing really I could have done. I just brought the wrong army for this kind of setup, and I didn't do a good job. I should have charged in my infantry instead of just sitting there. Should have charged in my archers as well, as well. But it. I don't know what I could have done to win this battle, quite honestly, because. I couldn't support my cav because all of my infantry needed to fight and my cav wasn't as good as his cav and the infantry was better than mine as well so I, I just spent too much money into these archers and uh, it's kind of a waste of money just because of his force setup here but all I have left are these archers they're really cool archers though so I admit defeat here. Good game, Joshua.
It was a lot of fun. Uh, it was somewhat close. Um, I hope you enjoyed this battle, guys, and I'll see you next time.